Welcome to the Sugar Freedom Channel. I'm Katherine Gordon. The purpose of this channel is to convince you to drop sugar and lift weight so that you can be healthy and happy. We are right smack in the middle of the 30-day lifting challenge. Dropping sugar, lifting weight with a very specific program, a five-day split. Starting with leg day, we have leg, chest, back, arms, and shoulders. What I want to discover is the minimum effective dose how much work we need to do to get the results that we want. One of the things that I've discovered during this 30-day challenge is I was doing a little bit too little. What do I mean by that? So with this five-day split that I've been doing, I've been doing three different exercises on all of the days except for arm day. And what I've discovered is that I need to add some more components in order to get results, and you might be the same. So what I have done is I have added kettlebell swings as a warm-up, as a pre-workout, and then I've added jump rope after the training session. Now, I know that jumping rope isn't appropriate for all of us, but if you do want to jump rope, I just want to show you the rope that I'm using. So this is a speed rope with ball bearings, and you'll notice this is kind of ugly, but I have to put knots in it to adjust it for my height. There's also another rope you can use, which is a thinner cable, which I really like but I've lost the adjuster to that. So I'll leave some links on this video to my Amazon Associates account if you want to get a jump rope. However, you don't have to jump, jump rope. You could do body weight exercises. You could do other finishing intervals. That being said, if you want to, you can do the experiment that I started with that you're just gonna come in and those five days a week, you're just gonna do those lifts. One of the things that I find about women who want to start lifting and certainly men who lift is usually they're active in other ways. I dance, I also do a lot of gardening. So you might be walking, you might be swimming, you might be doing something else. But bottom line, what I did discover is that just the three exercises five days a week was, wasn't quite enough to really get the results that I wanted to get. So what I did was I upgraded, I added the kettlebell swings and then I added the jump rope interval training afterwards and you can use any exercise you want for your intervals and that got things moving. So I've lost three pounds, I've lost an inch off of my waist, an inch off of my hips, and I've lost a body fat percentage point. I want the same for you. If you're going to be putting in the work, I want you to be getting the results. The purpose of this program, yes, it is to get leaner and lighter and tighter. Let's talk about nutrition and how that's going as well. Same thing, I had to tighten up the nutrition. So during the first two weeks, weight was pretty much staying the same. I had increased my above ground vegetables, my carbohydrates, wanted to see if I could add a little bit more and still get results. And I noticed that I had to tighten up those carbs. In general, I've been in a state of nutritional ketosis for the last 12 years, 20 grams of carbohydrate or less per day. If you choose your carbohydrates carefully, you can get a lot out of those 20 grams. When I really want to get lean, I do go carnivore or what I call AB keto, animal-based keto. There is a long history of this being effective. It has been studied. The book, Not By Bread Alone, was written way back in 1930 with a long study that was done at Bellevue Hospital of a meat-only diet. Also, Dr. Blake Donaldson's book, Strong Medicine is Available, which documents his work, and this book was written in the 60s, of a meat and water and a little bit of coffee diet for resolving overweight and obesity. Vince Gironda, who was called the Iron Guru in California, also did a steak and egg diet with his bodybuilding and his Hollywood clients. So this is not like this is something that hasn't been done before. And of course, I wanna thank Dr. Sean Baker for his work in bringing back the carnivore diet. And what I can do is share my personal story and tell you what has worked for me. And that is, of course, getting rid of sugar, grains, processed vegetable and seed oils, and replacing traditional cardio with weightlifting and intervals. So those are the results halfway through this 30-day challenge, getting weight loss, getting fat loss because of making adjustments. What I want to leave you with today is the understanding of someone who has lost a lot of weight. I have maintained a weight loss of 70 pounds 
for 12 years now. And what I discovered is that in order to maintain that level of weight loss, the activities and behaviors that I did in order to lose the weight are the activities and behaviors that I need to continue in order to maintain that weight loss. But the good news is that is okay because I really love and enjoy eating sugar-free and I love and enjoy lifting weight and doing intervals because I understand that I don't have to do a punishing hunger diet and a punishing workout in order to get the results I want. I can always retain the wonderful satisfaction of the sugar-free nutrition program and the satisfaction and the good feeling and the effort, but not pain of a resistance training and interval training fitness strategy. Like, share, subscribe, come back for more tips and more wisdom about losing weight, dropping sugar and lifting weight. And please give me your questions, add comments, anything that you're struggling with, and I can share my experience with you and hopefully it'll help. All right, take care everyone, be well, and I'll see you soon back here on the Sugar Freedom Channel.